Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another 1v1 and today I'm bringing you a game between Todar, that Toshka, he's gonna be the green Zerg here at the top left and he's going against Cow P, which is who's a Grandmaster Terran from the European server and of course he's gonna be the green Terran here at the bottom right and this game was from the SC2 Vision tournament held a couple of days ago um, of course, uh, pretty awesome game. I won't spoil the results for you guys of the series, but um, Toldor played really well. Uh, Cowpy played quite well. And of course, he's a man, Master Terran, so he should be able to give us quite a good game this time around. And um, yeah, Shakura's Plateau is going to be our map. Of course, we see a scouting drone coming. Just going to scout for proxy raxes, etc. Pretty good. That is obviously very useful to do. I don't do it myself, but um, I should start to do that. <laughs> um, because proxy racks are in the... But we don't see proxy racks by Cow P. We see they're the barracks in the high ground. Probably going to be standard Hellion expand, reactor Hellion expand, or maybe CC before Hellion. CC before factory, but... In either case, we should be seeing pretty standard play. But the timing of the refinery definitely going to be showing us um, a factory before CC. And there is the hatchery first by Tordor. Um, and we should, we should see a pool pretty quickly here. That drone is just going to scout the base, see if there are any proxy barracks or whatnot. Sees the gas, though. Um, and then... It's highly unlikely there is any proxy barracks incoming. And actually, uh, I'm not sure what is going on right here. The supply depot was pretty late, but I guess it's a good timing. Stop the drone from getting into the base again. Um, and the drone did not see that orbital timing, so that is also pretty important in determining whether it is a Turax or not. We're going to see some scouting coming from Cow P. There's a pool by, by Tordor. Uh, no hatchery yet. I'm actually going to say Toshko from now because Bate means something in, in his language. So Toshko going to be dropping the pool, not dropping gas yet. That is pretty unorthodox actually. You really, you usually do want um, speedlings quite quickly to defend against the Hellions. In the case, Marines are there, and soon we should be seeing a command center after the first two Hellions, probably. Um, which there is a reactor and a factory also going down. SCB going to be scouting. Sees no gas. That is pretty interesting. I, I always go for gas. And here we see eight links coming from Tashko here. I usually make two or four links, but it seems like he's just going to go on the offensive, try and kill these Marines. Um, maybe deny an expansion. Oh, that would be very interesting if he managed to cancel that um, command center, which is now going down. Supply depot coming there as well. Oh, gets cancelled. Oh, and this would probably get cancelled as well because eight links are incoming. And yes, indeed, does get cancelled. And 125 resources lost now for count 175. Actually. Interesting. I don't know where those came from. Here's the command center again. And the SCV is being pulled off the line. Oh, the, that one Ling is going to die. These Lings are going to retreat. They don't want to be roasted by these incoming Hellions, of course. And two Queens out. Going to be going up to four Queens right now. And I'm just going to set myself to busy. Because I'm getting uh, those notifications there. Three dots. I don't know really why. But three dots. And three queens are going to be blocking this. Um, I don't know if actually you can see them from the low ground and attack them. I will have to check that. And a lot of drones game made right now. 30 to 20. Soon 30 to 20. 35. Yep, soon it's going to be 35. Um, so Toshko definitely getting a small lead right here. Three gas coming right now as well. And now the question is, will he go for a lot of upgraded speedlings? Or will he go for mutas or pinglings or something like that? As he's taking the gas gangsters. Going to be taking them all. Uh, four guys on that one. Okay, now only three. Removes that one. Getting roaches now. So this is probably going to be this um, 
all in, we've seen a few times, where you go with Roach, Ling, Bane, Ling, and try to bust. And if he's got tanks, he'll tank the damage with the Roaches, and if not, um, you're just over on him, basically. He has a Spine Crawler being made as well, that is interesting. Um, I shouldn't think you'd need a Spine Crawler there if you're going Roaches. But, he knows what he's doing, probably, and here is the Ling speed. No macro hatch indeed, because we are going for roaches. And that queen trying to put a creep tumor down is not gonna work. Queens actually die pretty quickly to six hellions, even though that is difficult to believe. And hellions do do, a little, do do very little damage to queens, but of course, six of them start to be a big number. And injecting very nicely, and soon six roaches being made. Trying to spread the creep again. Probably not gonna work. Oh, maybe it will actually. Yes, it probably will. He, he does not see that. Okay, and here come the roaches. Seven more drones incoming, and now probably only Ling will Um, yeah, here is the painting now. Oh, Hellions are dying. Cow P, what are you doing? And uh, he loses all of the Hellions. Wow, he just. Handed to Toshko his map controller. Here, here we go. Map control for you. And um, yeah, no more map control for Cal P. That. And he's only got six Marines. I don't know what's going on here in the Terran base, really. Paying too much attention to the Zerg. I'm a bit biased. What? A few Marines here. Have not much of a problem, though. And now the Marines start to increase their numbers. Two Evo Chambers come in as well now for Toshko. And Baneling Nest about to complete, Lair about to complete. And I don't know, will he wait for Baneling Speed to can complete to actually perform its attack? That is interesting. He has taken a third base though. And no third base whatsoever for the Terran. Here come a few Marines. Those Marines are not really going to be able to do much at all. Um, against the 24 Lings and a few Roaches are coming. Hatchery about to complete. Gas Geyser is being taken right now. This Gas Geyser has been taken as well, but no drones mining from it just yet. Here comes a Spire. Um, at some point in the game, Toshko will notice this and will put more drones into that. Macro hatch is well incoming. And these things don't really want to engage these marines. Um, just because marines with medivacs are pretty OP. Oh, queen is gonna die. A few banelings will die, probably two or three. Yep, three, three banelings do die. And marines stimming, trying to clean up the Eucharist, and that is vital when going against the Oh, but... Uh, he managed to save most of his marines, actually. Saves 9 out of 11, I think. Just lost a couple of marines there. Um, and the spawner's about to complete. Well, ha over halfway done. Bailing speed also incoming. Marine trying to do some damage right there. Not really going to succeed in killing anything. And this hatchery has been complete. The unit kind of station going to be showing 57 drones pretty quickly, as we see 50 there and 7, 10 in production. So 60 drones going to be the... Um, Objective here off Toshko and a Marauder and six Marines in that medibank. I don't know why you would drop Marauders against the Zerg, really. Either way, the Spire has been complete. No Mutas in production just yet. He was slightly supply blocked. Will we see many Mutas? Uh, he doesn't really have the money for many Mutas, just for five or so. Um, I'm getting Burrow as well. Flyer attack, four mutas, and plus one, plus one, about to complete. Bailing speed as well. And getting up to four bases right now. And here cometh the drop. Drones getting pulled off really quickly, and only one of them is going to die. Extractor being targeted. That is interesting. An interesting objective there. Extractors are pretty vital for a Zerg. So it's not that bad. If you remove the extractors, of course, the muta count is going to decrease um, in the long term. But here comes a mutalisk. And these lings are going to intercept the medevac because it's obviously going to be dropping the marines. Yes, indeed. And one muta might die. That is interesting. Uh, one muta does die. Only one. Wow, that was close to being three there. Um, of course, if three muta died to four marines, then that's not that good. Um, and a lot of marines coming. No siege tanks. Yeah, that is interesting. And third command center as well here. Uh, plus one armor coming for Calpi. No plus two attack yet. He is not getting gas there. Oh, yes, he is actually. He's now getting gas there. Um, and of course, getting gas there. Four guys on that one. No guys on this one yet. Nah. Everyone makes those sort of mistakes. And. But yeah, four guys there. Three guys there. 
A few mistakes there, but nothing too important. They are getting now the plus two carapace and a couple of spine crawlers over there to give time for his units to arrive. And a few meters coming to harass. Not gonna have much success though, just because there are a couple of missile turrets there. More barracks coming and first siege tanks also incoming um, for Campy. A couple of banelings are gonna get burrowed probably. I can't see really any other objective. Oh, they are spotted. Is under attack. They are spotted by Count P, but I'm not sure if he really noticed. Because muted harassment was there. Um, we'll see what happens with these mainlings. I mean, they could be really vital for the win, because killing off 20 marines is pretty pretty good for the Zerg player. Oh, here he comes! Ah, that wasn't that good. He could have unburrowed them instead. Oh, if he had unburrowed them, he could have killed a lot more marines. Orbital Command getting targeted now, and there are a lot of banelings and roaches there. Orbital Command has to lift off. Oh, but here is a drop. A lot of marines still remain here. Will he kill this? Uh, no, he will not. But it will be pretty close. Oh, man. Oh, my God. He is going to get it. Oh, man. That was so close. And very nice right now. He's dropping over the banelings. So, Banelings would die for one Marine. That is very good control there by Kyle P. But, he is still um, only getting his third base right now. And doesn't really have that many tanks. And when you don't have tanks, Banelings shred you to pieces. And here come two more Banelings. Only going to be up to two Banelings in total. No, okay, five Banelings in total. Oh, and here come the attack. A lot of Lings going into the Marines. Muted also targeting them. So many links with two one upgrades. The siege tanks don't really kill them in one shot. Marines coming out right now. Bailing is going to be hitting the SAVs or the Marines. Uh, they do hit the Marines in the end. Uh, so many Mutas actually. I don't know where he got these from. Borrowing a couple of Bailings there. Oh, but they do die due to the splash of the tank. And Missile Turret is going to get killed as well. These Mutas are waiting for those to die to go over the orbital command and here come a few marines they are in the red though so mutic glaive worms will shred them to pieces and indeed that's what happens they are forced to retreat and here comes the mutas attacking the orbital command not really going to succeed in killing it probably no indeed they do start to retreat but we have a, little, a ling there and two banings over there ready to explode when marines go over them um so yeah 17 mutas in total gonna be there in the field 27 marines though are a lot of marines but we have 85 drones against 41 scbs right here that is not that good um and a sensor tower coming right now i think that can be has to play really defensive right now or else he can just get completely annihilated and he's trying to get, make the marines go over the banelings but not gonna happen scan goes down by Kaupi and kills those banelings greater spire now coming as well for toshko here um, gonna be going for those broodlers, of course, and Hasslings positioned nicely to uh, watch for expansions. And this base has now been effectively secured by P. No more command center or anything of the sort up. Um, main base is not really mined out. I don't know why he has no SCVs mining there. Every Everyone is there, but I think it should be better if you have more SCVs mining over here because these ones are more exposed to dying. And so we'll see what happens as plus two armor is now coming. Oh, Muta's doing some harassment over there. Killed a few SCVs. Totally 16 killed by Toshiko right here. And these missile turrets are probably also going to die. Yes, indeed. Here come the Muta's for another attack. And killing a few more SCVs. Up to 20 SCVs right now. And here comes the attack by Kaupi. Not going to be defending against these Muta's. And this missile turret is going to die probably the orbital command as well. But so many lings over here and a few banelings. If they connect well, this could be effectively over. Ooh, and infestors come in as well. Four more in production. Ten more banelings in production. And a nice flank can be set up here by Toshka with the infestors and the banelings. So we can see a few banelings going in. Don't really want to go. And this base has been killed. I mean, Kaupi is all in right now. There is not much he can do apart from this attack. If this doesn't succeed with it, don't know if it will. Tanks not targeting the bailing successfully. And oh my god, this is so one-sided. So one-sided. Every unit dies for the Terran. Here come a few more Marines and tanks. It's not going to be enough. Doesn't micro against the Banelings, and here come Banelings getting wasted onto the sea tanks. And Muta is also going to be cleaning it up. More random, please, noob. Is said by P. I don't know what really that means, but Toshko definitely are playing him this game. 
Um, and congratulations to him. Um, and thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you will follow our channel. Follow, uh, remember to subscribe. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the game. And I'll see you in the next one.